we'll give it a shot if, if it's something that we we can answer but if it's something we can't answer you know you can just email us directly and then we can forward you to people who do know okay and give you that information okay and um okay so we got a call coming in one moment let's go ahead and get this call in all right caller can you hear me i can hear you all right how you doing Hi, Dwayne. This is Phyllis. How are you guys? How are you and Nicole? I'm doing all right, Miss Phyllis. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. All hey, right. honey. <laughs> I'm calling to say thank you to the both of you. I have been with you guys for a long, long time since the beginning and since you guys started your store. And as you know, I have tried your a lot of your products, the black seed oil, the bitters, the sea moss, and different ones for my mom. And I'm going to tell you, it's been nothing but a blessing. It's been a change in her, her mm. whole makeup. Um, it's brought her levels like under. Um, since we moved and we relocated to Alabama, it's lots of sun here. It is hot. And that's been adding to it. Like she loves to sit out on the, on her patio. She's feeling good. And um, if it wasn't for a lot of the products that we were using, because they told us that she was going to be on insulin at age 80, 83 for the rest of her life. Mm. But when we started implementing all the different products that, you know, the black seed oil, the bitters and all these different things, she was able to get completely off the insulin. And my mother is thriving. Mm. And I'm so thankful. So when I heard you say this call, say thank you. Mm. This is me publicly calling to say thank you. To both you and Nicole, mm. I appreciate y'all. I love you. It's not just words, but I, look, I'm telling you from the heart. I just want to thank y'all. Oh, we appreciate that. Thank you so you. much. That's we wonderful. Wonderful to hear. Thank, you, thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. All right, you take All care. All right, now. you're welcome. All right, now. have a good one. You too. Bye. Yeah. Ain't that something? So That's yeah, this is what we're talking about. This is the kind of stuff we're talking about when it mm-hmm. comes to, um, um, you know, when you begin to make those conscious choices those those changes in your diet the stuff that you're taking in and listen it ain't just oh you're getting it from the um samba tree and nobody else's you can get this stuff anywhere but we have made a concerted effort this on this platform and since as long as we have a platform to talk about these things Mm -hmm. we're going to use it and we're going to use it to try to get our people to start course correcting on some of these basic things so that our people can have a long healthy life yeah okay and you can do that so don't think you got to go out here you some i think some people already in your brain you think once i hit like 75 or 80 that's when things it's gonna start slowing no right. uh-uh right right like i right. said when i cross this finish line i want to cross it running Girl, no <laughs> we'll continue this in a moment hey caller can you hear me yes all right hey caller what you got for us today I'm glad to talk to y'all, baby. What are you saying now? I'm glad to talk to y'all, baby. I'm glad to talk to you, too, and hear you, too. Who's that? <laughs> I just want to call to say my name is Stacy. Right. I've been watching y'all way back. I think I found y'all when y'all saying I used to be a Christian. I used to go to church. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, and I've been yeah. following y'all for a while. Y'all have truly been a blessing to me. Mm, that's awesome. <laughs> We're so happy. Yes, I was in my beginning state. Am I hearing a little Louisiana in your voice, Stacy? No, honey, I'm from Delaware. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's Everybody like think from I'm from the South. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm from the South. I used to do customer service at one point in my life. Mm-hmm. And people would think I was from the South. <laughs> It no, like I'm it. from it Delaware. Like the, the lost, the lost state. I want to say the lost state. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> knows where we are or what we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you because um, I, you know, uh, growing up when we would drive through Delaware, going on our way down south, mm. we always went through, you know, on 95, and that was about as deep as I got into Delaware. But one day, we went somewhere. We were going. Uh, I forgot where we were going. House. Yeah. The what? friend's house we were going to a friend's house Mm -hmm. and i was like wait a minute this this delaware and then i kept then we kept going down uh further into delaware Mm -hmm. it was down (laughs) south i mean i'm talking chicken farms and all this i was like nicole i kept saying this feel like it was down south somewhere yeah yeah it literally feels like that baby yeah it's a whole nother world people don't know that part of uh, delaware 
That's down south. No, they south. don't. That's the part I live in. Uh-huh. That's the okay. county. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it, Stacey. Uh-uh. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it felt, just, it felt every bit of down south down there. So, yeah, that's wonderful. But I appreciate you calling in and, and, yeah. and letting us hear your voice and really appreciate that. Yes, y'all have been a blessing to me, uplifting. I'm even one of the ones that got one of your free uh, black seed oils. That's mm. been a blessing to me. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh-huh. yeah. Oh, okay. that's awesome. Yes, that's yes. awesome. Me and my mother. Yep, my mother's 74 years old. All right. <laughs> All right. Wow. That's awesome. That so is So y'all had truly been a blessing to me. No. And stay on your spiritual journey. Yes, A lot ma'am. of people not going to understand. I just say them that are led by the Spirit are led by the Spirit on the Son of God. Yeah, we... You know, I've been through the Christian, the mm-hmm. Hebrew. I'm just like you guys. I'm still learning. Yes, ma'am. That's it. Yes, ma'am. That's it. That's what yes, we're going to stay on our yeah. journey till the end. That's right. Yep. That's, that's, that's right. So look, thank you so much for calling. Yeah. And appreciate it. You take care and say and say hello to mom for us. Love you, lady. Um, I sure will. All right, you, you have a blessed day. You, you too. too. Take okay. care now. Bye bye. Ain't that something? Oh, sweet. Yeah, that, that's something. I'll tell you, down south, man, D- Delaware, y'all is a whole nother world down there. Mm-hmm. It's a whole. I didn't really. I was like, wait, chicken farm. I, I ain't, had no idea, but there you go. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she from down there. But anyway, um, Nicole, do you want to talk about the uh, what you was going to talk if, about? I mean, if if some, I think you said there were two people that were trying to call. If you, if we didn't pick up your call, definitely please call back. This is the fun part. Mm-hmm. Here, but we're gonna here. we're gonna have a later on. We're gonna open up the phone line again so people can call in again. Okay. Because sometimes right. people need to warm up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 All right, hold on. I'm going to go back to my station. All right, so she's going to go and she's going to head on over to the other part of the studio. She got to go down the hallway and all that. You know how it is. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get it. She's going to share some things there. So let me go ahead and switch over there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn the. Yet. Oh, yeah. So she'll let me know, but I'm going to turn the phone off. But let me finish my thought there, what I was saying real quick, because this is really, really, really quick. So social media, getting back to that. So all in all, you had these. Think of these tiny villages and these tiny communities, you know, um, you know, they weren't thinking about something that was going down, going on 3000, 4000, 5000 miles from them, let alone like, I wonder what the people in Hawaii are talking about, you know, and you all the way in Africa somewhere. Or I wonder what the people know, or I wonder what Susie 812109, what she has to say on this topic. So my point is this, is that are we meant to have socialization? Are we meant to socialize with other people? Absolutely. That's a key part of being human is to have to to socialize with other humans, right? I mean, we do need our times when we're by ourselves. It's of great value. But when it comes to socializing with other people, we do we do need that. But here's the thing. Do we need to be socializing with people that aren't really in our circle. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. And the answer is really no. And so what this system unfortunately has done is blown open that circle to where now it's people are looking all over the place for their people. If you understand what I mean. So this is what you got to understand. So going blindly into social media, it, what has been a result of that? Well, the result of that is increased depression. There's a correlation between someone that spends a whole lot of time in social media and depression. There's a correlation with that. So what does that tell you based on what we were just saying earlier? When you're out there in the sun, what does the sun do? It gives you the opposite. It boosts your emotions. So if you're doing something that is doing the opposite, what does that mean? That means you're going the wrong way. That means that the type of socialization that they're presenting to you is not healthy. So this is why it's important for you to find your people. Do you understand what I'm saying? To find people. Let me go ahead and turn this phone on because I think I keep thinking, oh, someone getting ready to call. But yeah, we'll, you'll have a time if you want to call in. Um, you'll have a time to call back in. So this is why being so bottom line. Being on social media for extended periods of time is not healthy. It isn't. And so, you know, if you find people, if you find individuals that you really click with that are really adding life to you, those are the people that you want to spend time with. Those are the people that you want to build with. Those are the people that you want to build relationships with. 
but you don't want to um but but by being um just aimlessly just running through the hallways of social media land it's not healthy and but when you like i said when you go back into earlier days they didn't have that issue because the conversations that they had was with real people and it was meaningful because they were it was a high probability that the people that you were communicating with you had shared interest. Do you understand what I'm saying? Am I talking too crazy or out there or deep? I hope you're getting what I'm saying. So when you're putting yourself out there on the highway of people, you're going to get tired because it's too much to focus on. And eventually you're going to get depressed and all of that. So you have to train yourself to say, you know what? There's certain days I'm not going to be on Facebook. There's certain days I'm not going to be on Twitter. There's certain days. Let me focus on what I got in front of me right now. And then occasionally when you get on social media, you t- you pinpoint on those people where you have shared interests and then you focus on that and that alone. You ain't out there trying to find nothing. You know what I mean? Because it will make you tired. It will make you depressed. And you're not designed to be in that cat- in that situation in the first place. So anyway, uh, Nicole, let me know when you're ready. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to Nicole, and um, she's going to be sharing uh, something here. Hold on for a second. Let me get her on the screen. You ready, Nicole? Yeah. All right. I just want to make sure. Final call. All right. (laughs) So there you go. So we're going to turn her on right now, and then make sure. Yeah, bring your mic there, and there you go. Hold on, y'all. My mic stand is not secured properly. One uh, second. Oh, let me, let me. He's going to work on that. Just one second. You see that underneath? Okay, so you all, hopefully you can hear me. It might go in and out a little bit because the mic is moving up and down. But just in line, you know, just kind of keeping with this conversation that um, Dwayne started in the first part of the broadcast. And um, I just want to tell you kind of in terms of a journey where I've been, um, for a good while is moving off of European based or Western based, um, obviously medical systems, but not just the medical systems, the way they approach health and the way they address health. Now that may seem like, yeah, duh, just Take natural stuff, use natural herbs. Do Of course, that's what you guys are about. You have a natural, you know, a, a natural food store. But no, I mean, what I'm saying is I'm finding that even information that is being published and um, peer reviewed medical papers that are well revered in the medical community and in the science community, medical science community, may not apply to us because we're genetic, we're, we're different at a, at a cellular level. Um, and what do I mean by that? Now, I want to first say, this is an area that I'm exploring, not an area that I am an expert in. Okay. So certain things that I'm sharing are things that I have information that I have, that's come across my plate or in my purview, so to speak. But, um, I haven't, dedicated, um, you know, diligent hours to researching and, and, and finding out. Okay. So for example, there are tons of studies that you will find that say that black people are deficient in vitamin D, that black people need more vitamin D. And, um, as Dwayne was saying, saying our skin, all right, is, is built and made for us to be able to take in more sun. Okay. Um, and I think partially because we did not originate in Europe, we originated in sunny areas and sunny regions. Okay. Um, but let me just give you this, this, this bit of information that came kind of came across my, my page. I heard that black people, and that's the only term I can, I can give it for you to understand what I'm saying, black people, um, people of African descent, store vitamin D in their bones, in their organs, eyes, their organs, and 
in their, um, there was one other place, but only 1% of our vitamin D is stored in the blood. However, if you take people of European descent or if you take Caucasian people, we'll make it plain, over, I think it was over 90%, basically most of their vitamin D is stored in their blood. So when you go to a medical professional and they want to test your vitamin D levels, they do a blood test. So when you test a, for vitamin D in the blood of a white person and the, the, the results come back and they say, oh, your vitamin D levels are good, you know, or whatever, or you need to take a vitamin D supplement just to bring it up a little bit. And then you take a blood test in a person of African descent. And it says, oh my gosh, your vitamin D levels are, you are so deficient. You are so deficient in vitamin D that your levels are so low because you're testing the blood. But if this piece of information is correct, and it's, I have not fully verified it, but if this piece of information is correct, then Western or European based medical science, medical research, or, or, you know, healthcare systems don't have the equipment to actually test black people for their vitamin D levels because it's in our bones and it's in our organs and it's in, you know, it, it's not, it's only 1% that's in our blood. So if you're testing the vitamin D levels in black people and you're doing blood tests, you're only picking up on 1% of the vitamin D that we have in our system. And you're saying that we're deficient. And so what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that this entire system, healthcare system is tested, you know, researched, written about, you know, based on European subjects or, or people or, or subjects of European descent. So it's white medicine, white science, white research for white people. And so will some of it apply? Yes, I use a lot of it. I use a lot of data, you know, from medical white papers and, um, or medical research papers or peer reviewed medical papers. I use a lot of that information, but I'm coming to learn that not all of that information is actually applicable to us and the information that is um, about us, a lot of it is wrong. A lot of it is wrong. And when you start really understanding or, or um, researching black people <laughs> and how we're built and how we're made and, and, you know, and, and I, this, I may misquote, I may misquote this. Okay. If I do, I will come and correct it underneath this video. So this is just going off of memory. Um, supposedly at the, at the core of our cells, black people have carbon and white people have sulfur or some type of sulfur ammonia base, uh, ammonia mix, something like that. I really have to go back and research it. Um, but this was from a, a really, really well-known African herbalist and medical researcher. Um, and so it just got me to thinking again, we need to verify everything, of course, but it got me to thinking if we are different at the cellular level, um, then everything is different. Everything is different. Meaning our approach to living, our approach to health, our approach to community, our approach to relationships, everything is different because we are different beings at the core. Okay. And so, um, you know, that, and it, it beyond just DNA and beyond, you know, some of these differences that we're well aware of culturally and historically. And, uh, but 
I'm talking about, you know, hmm, on a on a physical, spiritual, molecular level, being completely different beings. Okay, you people may say, "Oh, we're all human beings. We're all human beings. We're just different." I mean, we there may be there may be more of a difference than we actually believed before. And so the more and more we dig into this stuff, um, the less and less I believe, trust, and align myself with um, the this research that's out here, you know? Because how can someone else tell you fully about you when they don't really understand who you are, how you're built, how you're made, and how, you know, how you should you know, be growing and flourishing, um, because there's something else. And, um, yeah. And I, again, I, I don't know who may see this video, but I say that without any kind of, there's no emotion. Do you know what I mean? There's no, it's just, this is just it. <laughs> it's just, it's just, you know, I'm very neutral as I'm saying this information simply because we live in a system where, um, and I don't mean to be negative here. I mean, it's actually positive the more you get to know and learn about yourself. But we live in a system that is um, everything is, is, is quite backwards. Everything that is man-made is really very backwards, okay? The devices that we're broadcasting on right now, unfortunately, um, are, are, are releasing EMF that is targeting and unfortunately killing our cells right now, okay? Which is why I, after I'm done, I gotta go outside, get in the sun and do my grounding so I can repair my body from being exposed to the, all of this EMF that's in this room, right? The phone and the computer and the, the router and the modem and all this stuff. The system that we live in um, was not built by us, okay? It was not built for community. It was not built to grow and thrive. And and um, th it, it just was not built for that. It, it is a system. It's a system, all right? And systems, um, I feel like I'm, it's what I'm saying is so negative. I don't mean to be negative because I'm very, I'm very excited to, to be seeing um, this way, right? Because when you see, you can do better and you can live better, right? But this system that is built by people of European descent with their values and their, you know, their beliefs, it is a system of deception and a system of control, from the financial system, the education system, the healthcare system, media, entertainment, all of that, right? It's their stuff, right? So we, on this journey, Dwayne and I, we their religious system, Dwayne and I no longer um, seek to or believe that we're going to thrive being who we are but try to thrive within a construct that's not ours, right? We may live in America. What are you going to do about that? I mean, you know what I'm saying? You can move if you want to, but, but so it starts by clearing out your mind of stuff. That's not you stuff. That's not yours. It's not your people. It's not how you're meant to live. It's their stuff. Clearing that out. And you know, for us, yes, we started getting back to um, natural, of course, natural foods, natural herbs, nature itself, but also the religious system, you know, because you don't, don't think that you're going to be your truest self when at the very core of your belief system, it's somebody else's beliefs. It's it's a Jewish based or European based or whatever. It's somebody else's stuff. 
but we adopt that and think we're going to thrive when it's not our stuff. So, so to use a phrase from the Bible, think it not strange when you're not thriving, you're not thriving. You're not, you, you're not thriving. And, and I, I would say you, black people, again, I use that term. Some people say melanated people, carbonated people, whatever, you know what I mean? Black people, um, the black people that I see thriving in this system have given themselves over to the system. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, um, whether you're working in the system, representing this, whatever, but when you choose not to do that, not to follow their religion or their every, every other construct that they've built, it becomes difficult. I mean, it becomes difficult and you have to find your way. You have to find your way. And so that's why it's a journey for us. Um, it's a journey for us. And I think um, for everyone, if we're really, if we're really being honest, um, you know, you are definitely not going to have all of the answers, right? But we know, we know our life giver wants us to, to live in truth and wants us to live as our truest self. And so for me, you know, there's a lot of cleaning in my mindset, a lot of cleaning that has to happen, um, and is happening. And, you know, I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm very hopeful about that. Um, Dwayne wanted me to show some of this EMF blocking, um, some of the stuff I use this, everything I show you is, is not going to be, these are not things that we offer. We offer the gloves, but there's a lot more that I use because I'm very sensitive to electromagnetic magnetic frequency. I'm very sensitive to it. Um, you all have heard my, well, before I go on, Dwayne, I can't see the chat. So is there anybody in the chat that's saying anything that I need to answer? Okay. So, um, those of you, you guys know that if you've been following the channel for a while, my hands, I've always been sensitive to, I had to get rid of multiple iPhones, uh, because my, my fingers would tingle and burn and I just couldn't do it. And so even on my keyboard too much, it's too, there's too much radiation, um, my wireless keyboard and all that. And my fingers are extremely sensitive, right? So, um, I started using these, I started using EMF shielding gloves to help me when I'm on the computer, when I'm on my phone. Right. And, um, these for me have been, a, a like a lifesaver for me. They just been a lifesaver. I don't, I don't know what else said. Okay. And so I use them when I'm typing, I use them, you know, on my phone and you can, um, they're very, um, like the tactile, you know, on your, on your phone screen, but not when you're using a phone protector, if you're using a screen protector, it's not, they're not good. You want, you don't want to use them with a screen protector. You want to use them without, but after using these, my fingers do not tingle. I can be on a keyboard, my computer, I can be on for two, three hours. My, my fingers do not tingle since I started using these gloves. All right. So that may not be for everyone. Um, put it like this. You may not think that you need it, right? Because you're not physically sensitive to it, but EMF is affecting our bodies, all, you know, all of us. So I started using these, right? I use something like this. Do you see this? This is an, a laptop, an EMF blocking laptop pad, and you put it right on your lap. Okay. Do you know why the laptop is called a laptop? Steve Jobs used to use his computer all the time and he would have it sitting on his lap. That's the, that's why we call, you know, laptop computers, laptops, because Steve Jobs used to use his computer all the time on, on his lap. 
Do you know what kind of cancer Steve Jobs died of? Prostate cancer. Now, you could say that correlation doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that, you know, that's, that's the reason, but we know that all these devices emit harmful EMF. And this man sat with his computer right at his prostate, prostrate, prostate, prostate, right? All these years. And that's the cancer that he developed. And so I use that laptop pad when I'm using my laptop. I even have a whole body length. You can't see it because, you know, but I have a whole body length little throw. That's an EMF protective throw. All right. And all of these operate like a Faraday cage. They have nickel. Um, well, silver primarily, primarily silver is the EMF blocking material mixed in with nickel and then whatever, like these have nylon or polyester, um, thread, but, oh, and then one more thing. Now this was a trip and Dwayne, you can talk about this. I have beanies. Again, we don't offer these. I'm just sharing with you in case it's something you want to look up, you know, for yourself, but beanies, EMF protect, protecting beanies or EMF blocking beanies. And they have a silver material on the inside. And when Dwayne, and I buy this stuff for my whole family, but when we started using these, Dwayne, can you tell them about like the dreams? Cause our dreams were so vivid, so vivid when we started sleeping, blocking out the EMFs as we sleep. So go ahead, Dwayne. Um, I know from, yeah, for me, I started, I just put it on, you know, I wasn't really expecting anything at all. When like, Ooh, I'm going to put this on and this, come. I just put it on. This is, you know, I, I don't put it on, you know, it's hot as it is out here right, now. Right, no, right, but right. that was like in the winter, winter. time, mm. you know, I like wearing a hat sometime when I go to bed or whatever. And, um, it was the weirdest thing because I, I had the hat on, and then all of a sudden I start having all these really vivid dreams about stuff. It wasn't anything bad. It was actually all, it was good. It was pleasant and everything, but it wasn't, it was like, uh, I don't know. And so it made, it was enough to where I started questioning like, wow, I wonder if all of these uh, different frequencies and stuff that are out here coming from the router and all that stuff, I wonder if it's actually preventing us from dreaming, you know, things like that, you mm -hmm. know? Um, is it, does it have that kind of impact on the brain while we're sleeping? Now I'm a person, I don't, you know, I make sure that the phone isn't near my head. I have it on the floor on, you know, far away from me when I'm asleep. I don't, you know, put it near, near me. Um, but, um, yeah, so it, it wasn't, it's definitely not the phone at all, but you know, it's just, you know, when you're living in a community, especially like this, you got, you know, and the houses are as close as they are now, it's like, you know, you got, if it ain't your router, it's the next door neighbor's router and all of that. You got so many of these frequencies that are flying around out here. And so, um, but it does make you wonder, you know, um, you know, that's why, you know, you got like devices today, they call it the internet of things. So you got refrigerators that got Wi-Fi on it. You got dryers and why, you know, we don't do all that, but, um, but still even the router though, it's, you know, could that be, um, something that's contributing to that, you know, did it, you know, but I, okay, let me go ahead and get to this call. Hey, caller, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Is this the K teacher? This is K teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I put you on the spot. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, but I was ready to call in. Oh, that's oh, all right. Oh, that's oh, all right. I really oh, appreciate oh, that. Go, go ahead. Yes, what you got um, for us? I, no, I appreciate you all. I, um, you know, I ordered from you all a while ago, and I continue to. And you know, depending on how you take the supplements, they will last if you stretch them. What mm -hmm. What is that? I got my husband in here. What did we get? Black seed oil. Black seed oil is some green powder. It does. Moringa. I don't know. The moringa. Mor mor yes, moringa. Mm -hmm. Um, the nuana, the weed. Uh. Guinea hen we got a bunch of them. yes yes we have a bunch of that yeah and team off team off 
Uh huh. Mm-hmm. The sea moss, and then we got the pills, and we got the turmeric oil, and the black pepper oil. Mm-hmm. And then I was trying to put it in the chat. Um, you know, from here, I also learned about you know the sun bathing, just going out in the sun with the energy, and then eating um, the raw dandelions. And the reason mm-hmm. I wanted to call in, I'm not a um, typer. I'm trying to speed this up, but mm-hmm. you're fine. You're my fine. husband. Okay. <laughs> He had a fatty liver disease, and we don't. He's not a drinker, so we didn't didn't know where it mm-hmm. came from. But he had fatty liver disease, and I think I've shared that up here before. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was taking the black seed oil as well as his cholesterol, his blood pressure, and of course, I mean, you have to change your diet. You mm-hmm. can't just take um, supplements. You know, you right. still have to watch how you eat. Right. You got to get out and walk and things like that. But mm-hmm. He did that, and, of course, we've researched it, and it can be reversed. So by taking those supplements and changing the way he ate, and really he just did, like, salad, um, vegetables, and I think he did do, you know, salmon, and um, I think that was it, and um, here and there. But that reversed that. And then for Mm -hmm. me, my blood pressure was fluctuating as well. So the black seed oil is not really tasty it's not Mm-mm. i mean it's no, got it's a not. taste to it but uh, it's not <laughs> yeah it's not but you know i mean and you can sip it up we also have the ginger from you all so i just mm-hmm. put like hot water i put the um ginger in there or the leaves the mm-hmm. i think nicole said it the um guana weed leaf um the guinea hen guinea hen yeah. uh-huh. guinea hen guinea hen yes uh-huh. i put those in just hot water and i don't add anything to it, and I just drink it raw. But you will really see the benefits, like if mm. you just exercise. And I, and I like coming here to this site because I know I don't know y'all, but just mm-hmm. from watching your videos, I know you're a family. Mm-hmm. You, I don't feel like you would put products out Mm-mm. that you haven't researched yourself Mm-mm. or that you you know think mm-hmm. are not good for our people. Mm-hmm. So, I I mean, it's really been a blessing. I Mm. love it. A lot of times I go and I'm, like, trying to hurry up to get the toothpaste. I got deodorant from you all. Mm. Um, That was really good. And so I I love it. I love Samba Tree. I gave it to my mother. My father, he's dealing with uh, diabetes right now. He hasn't gotten it yet. But, um, you know, on the brink. So I'm like, go to this website and purchase mm-hmm. this stuff like mm-hmm. it, it's it's really good just mm-hmm. y'all are just a blessing oh, so man, i had to call awesome. it. that's awesome go ahead, yeah. Nicole's say yeah. something. Go ahead huh? miss k well you know that's funny we have miss k in the chat and then we have k teacher but this is k teacher so <laughs> yeah uh, uh, first of all thank you for sharing all of that you know we we love hearing we love hearing that because that's why we do what we do and so um um your father, you mentioned your father has di- was just diagnosed with diabetes or has I think di- on like the brink. The uh-huh. one the brink. Like it, okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. If you if yeah. you send me an email, we will send your father out um some black seed oil for free uh and some moringa okay. powder for free because um both of those will help tremendously mm-hmm. tremendously with that with that diabetes you know just kind of being right there it'll help rebalance his a1c's and um yeah just just send me an email and we'll get that sent out um to you okay mm-hmm. you don't have to purchase it and let me say this too when you take your black seed oil the way there's here's a trick okay you can either put it on a big spoon with honey and take it the black seed oil with honey in one spoonful and it'll help with the taste or you can take the black seed oil on a spoon and then chase it with some orange juice or you know some apple juice or something Mm -hmm. like that so you can do that um and then lastly the guinea hen weed to make that taste a little bit better because it's also referred to as garlic garlic weed okay t because it smells like garlic You can add a little lemon and add a little honey if you don't, you know, have any type of um, limit sugar limitations, you know, in your in your diet. You can put a little lemon and yeah. a little honey, and it'll help the taste a little a lot. Mm-hmm. So, and what is and thank you. And what is that for? The the green powder. I think it was the meringue. Meringue. I think y'all um uh-huh. said. 
Okay. What What is that beneficial for? Oh, because wow. Because I, um, mm-hmm. what did that do? Yeah, yeah. So Moringa powder is really amazing. Moringa powder has so many vitamins um, contained just in that, in that leaf. It is excellent for lactating mothers, right? To produce produce breast milk it is amazing for balancing cholesterol for um blood pressure issues and for diabetes it's good for your skin and your hair um moringa powder is also good for um uh, also mineral imbalance very good for that um yeah, that's about right off the top of my head. We have all the other benefits listed on the on the website, but that's nature's multivitamin. Exactly, nature's multivitamin. I'm sorry, vitamin and vitamin imbalance. I meant not mineral, but yeah, they call it nature's multivitamin because that's literally what it is. Mm. Literally what it is. Okay. Um, and then Guinea hen weed. Hopefully, I can say this on YouTube. I don't know, but basically, um, I'll just give you a little testimony. I had a friend who. Um, her name is, I call her Miss Y, so I don't put her out there. Miss Y, her name uh. begins with a Y. And she had, um, she was feeling a lump in her breast and mm-hmm. she had had some other health issues and she just wasn't, she just wasn't in the frame of mind to go to the doctor and get it checked out. She just, you know, she just said, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mm-hmm. going to do that right now. But she had a, a lump in her breast. She took guinea hen weed tea. Now she did take it straight. She didn't do lemon and honey. She took it straight and she uh-huh. drank three mm-hmm. cups of it a day, three cups of it a day for 30 days. And that lump was gone mm. in her mm. breast was gone. That lump was gone. Guinea hen weed is no, you can look on our, look on our website in the description. Guinea hen weed is known for shrinking tumors mm. and masses mm. in the body. And also what guinea hen weed does is it, it, um, doubles your natural, what they call them, natural killer cells, Mm -hmm. meaning the cells in your body that will go and kill, um, Mm -hmm. infection and cancer cells and all of that. It increases it by 100%, meaning it doubles your, your body's ability to fight. So, um, guinea hen weed wow. is, is, is no joke at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty powerful. Well, I'm glad cause I, I, that's a powerful testimony. I have like, um, I mean a bunch of packs and I just seen the things that it did. Like I said, with my husband, we were like, wow. Um, I mean, the products you all have are wonderful. And I did want to say before I get off, you all, like, if you do email, because I remember I emailed you all because I was like, I don't want to be just, I'll take stuff and mix it and take it. And I was like, I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. And you are really good with getting back to me as far as like, this is what it does. This is how much you should take. So thank you for that. And just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, sis. Wonderful. Thank you, sis and hubby. Thank (laughs) y'all. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Love y'all. Thank you. you.